So one, a defining moment for me that definitely made me feel stronger afterwards is in the first race of my professional career, a really important bit of equipment on my boat failed. That meant I couldn't leave the tiller on the boat, so that meant I had to steer the whole time and I had to stay awake. I couldn't leave the tiller to sleep or to cook or to check the, check the weather or check the maps. So I just stayed awake for 42 hours at the helm of the boat and that made me realise afterwards what I was capable of because I didn't think beforehand that I would be able to do that. And I did it. I was, had the determination to do it and that kind of just opened my eyes a bit to what you're actually capable of when you have to do something. You can, you should um, always overestimate yourself. To me, resilience is about having a stock of confidence or having a stock of events that you have inside yourself that you can kind of use as a resource when times are tough. So for me, I like to sometimes write down important races or important moments in my life where I felt I acted well or I was strong or I had a good performance. And I keep them as a little kind of database of confidence that are just these are just small building blocks that I build up and that give me a long-term confidence because I feel if you try and build up your resilience using big blocks it doesn't work it's easier to knock down so for me the key is little little things that I add to often and so often add to my confidence bank and I use that to uh, withdraw my resilience from. <laughs>